What's going on, fellow junkies, and welcome back to Horror Junkies 519. I'm your host, Kyle the 13th, and I am here to close the doors on this horror poll. No more votes, you guys, so I hope you got your vote in. So if you guys didn't catch it, the voting was for Mosquito or Mother's Day. And so I really hope you guys got your votes in because it is closed, and here are the results. Yes, I know. You know, it really started out very even with this horror poll. But pff, Mother's Day definitely pulled right ahead and it stayed there uh, for quite a while. Uh, sorry for you guys that voted for Mosquito. You know, never know. Maybe it'll come back around and it'll be on the horror, on the Junkie Movie Reviews right here on Horror Junkies 509. So, I'm going to go ahead and get into this review for 1980's Mother's Day. Uh... D brought to you by Troma, but in my personal opinion, this is one of those Tromas that looks actually pretty good uh, for a Troma movie. It's one of the higher, better looking Troma movies, I will say, for that. Um, this was directed by uh, Charles Ka Kaufman, and uh, I looked through his whole list of movies he directed, written, nothing I recognized. I really didn't have anything on this guy other than this movie, so it is what it is. Uh, as far as stars in it, I mean, nothing really to talk about. No familiar faces. I mean, one of the brothers in this movie was an officer on Wayne's World, and obviously probably not one of the ones I recognize. So, not really much for familiar faces or movies I can connect to this. Uh, this movie was remade in 2010. I have not checked it out. I just learned about it myself. Uh, definitely looks like they went a def definitely a completely different direction on it. Uh, but you can check it out if you're interested. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get into the plot of this movie. Basically, uh, three college friends, roommates, uh, have been friends since college. I mean, they went to college together, and they said they were going to stick together. They're called the Rat Pack, which is cool. It's just like kind of things like that that make me wish I would have gone to college. Uh, I guess I still could, but, you know, I'd be hanging out with lots of younger kids. Uh, but the thing is, they, uh, they plan a trip every single year. they got to drop everything and go on a trip. And uh, this time they're going camping. Uh, this girl that's putting it on, she will not tell where they're going. They have to wear paper bags all the way to the spot. She doesn't want them to know where it's at. None of it. Uh, but basically, to kind of simplify this plot, basically, three girls go out camping. Uh, there's two creepy dudes out there that end up kidnapping them and taking them to their house and showing them off to their mother. Uh, this movie is called Mother's Day, but I don't think anything has... It's never been uttered. It's not. They don't say Mother's Day. They don't say uh, like Happy Mother's Day or anything like that. It's never been stated. Uh, it's just two guys that are kidnapping women and bringing them home for mom. And their mom's a psycho as well. Uh, so basically the best way I can describe this movie is these guys, they kidnap the girls and they start torturing them and beating them and stuff like that, you guys. Um, so this is kind of uh, not really a slasher. It's kind of like a revenge film. Uh... Because eventually these girls do get away and they come back for them. Best way I can describe that without doing any spoilers. Um, there's not too much to the plot other than that, you guys. So it is a revenge film. Um, to, uh, to get into things that I like. The things I like about this movie, I don't mind the story. I mean, it's not perfect. It's pretty twisted and messed up. But, I mean, overall, just for a horror movie, it's a pretty decent story. I like watching this movie. I've watched this a couple times. The rewatch value is there. I mean, yeah, it is twisted, it is weird, but enjoyable. Uh, the cinematography on it, I mean, for a trauma, it looks decent. I love watching this movie, just the look of it. Is, it's got a good look to it. I really enjoy that. Um, I mean, I love the whole little story with the college girls and all stuff like that. I really think that's really cool and enjoyable. I like the, uh, I don't want to say the killers, the two brothers. I mean, they're just so goofy and <clears throat> they think they're just such badasses and ladies' men. But nothing can be further from the truth. They're just mama's boys. True and true, and I can't really say much about it because I'm not a, I am a mom's boy as well, but I'm not a psycho, I guess. Um, so I'm going to go with it. Uh, so um, other than that, you guys, things I liked about this movie. Uh, the practical effects are so-so in this movie. I appreciate that they do practical effects because that's my home. But oh, I'm in the dislike category, I have something to mention about that as well. Um, so, the dislike category as well, I'll go ahead with start with that. There's not much I dislike about this movie. Uh, so, also going to go with the practical effects thing, because, I mean, you can just tell when things are dummies and stuff like that. They didn't, I mean, I guess I can really blame that on the editing as well. 
whatever. Uh, but the practical effects, some of them were look pretty crappy because you could just tell they're dummies or just not a real person and stuff like that. Um, but you know, all around very enjoyable film. Uh, this is not movie you show to your mother on Mother's Day. This is pretty sick and twisted. Uh, for, for, for the 1980s time period, I would say. Um, as far as anything else I don't like about this movie, I mean, just, it's not too much to hate about this movie. It's just one of those classic old horror movies. Uh, if you're looking for something bright and shiny and polished, this isn't for you. But if you like that grainy, old school look, you're definitely going to enjoy this movie. I highly recommend it if you are into the horror genre. Uh, let's go ahead and rate this movie. Uh, I like always out of 10 stars, you guys. I'm going to go with about a 6 on this one. Uh, not because I don't like it or anything like that. It's just because, you know, those bumps in the roads that the, it has in it. It's not a perfect film. But I definitely don't want to give it a higher rating. Just because I know... I know there's going to be some people that dislike this movie. So I don't want to rate it any higher. My feeling is, you know, it, the story's great. The atmosphere is all, all there. I feel like the characters are really good. I think it's a decent acted movie. Not perfect, but, you know, acting is kind of a tough one for me as well. I enjoy the crazy mom. She just, just, she's just keeping these boys under lock and key. And these boys are just, they need to get out more, definitely, because they are just, they think they're the God's gift to the queen. Huh. So as far as, as far as rating you guys, I do give it a 6 out of 10. Uh, definitely worth, worth a watch. If you have never seen this before, watch it once. Maybe you'll enjoy it, maybe you won't. And that's going to do it for me on Mother's Day. Um, so, you guys, that's going to wrap it up for this review on the Junkie Movie Reviews on the Horror Junkies 509, brought to you by Kyle the 13th. I hope you guys like this review. I will be having my next horror pull up probably within the next couple weeks. Uh, letter, uh, the episode's going to be brought to you by the letter N. And, you guys, honestly, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my new um, social media page at the end of this video. You can set, check out all my social media. Come like me on it. Come talk to me. See what's going on. I always like to give spoilers and see what's going on going on in the channel. So you guys can come check that out. And you guys, this is going to do it for me. Horror Junkies 509, Kyle the 13th, signing out. Just until next time. And you guys, I've been sentenced to life. I'm a horror lifer. You guys have a good time.